It's a brand new year for Harold Fairclaw and his Green Hornets, but the mission remains the same to capture the program's first ever district title. In terms of winning percentage, last season didn't yield the same production as in recent years as the team finished off the year six and six, but the season still set up the next wave of team leaders at Emmaus, one of which being wide receiver Rafael Terrero, who's returning for his senior year after leading the team in receiving yards in 2023. Two of our goals never changed. One is to win you know, the, the conference title, and then the other is, you know, winning a district championship. The other is kind of standard too, but, you know, just taking, you know, just finding a way every single day to get better. Um, and then just kind of eliminating distractions and, you know, focusing on what the goals are. You know, it's my last senior year. I want to end with a bang, you know. Just want to be, like, known as, like, a player who, like, really, you know, changed, changed the game around here and, like, you know, was also a good guy to be around. I think we're all in the back of our head, you know, we all wanted to win a districts and EPC and all that, you know, just like getting closer and play getting better each and every game. Taking the reins in the QB spot will be Jarek Cooper, who got two starts as a sophomore last season, throwing for 391 yards and two touchdowns as understudy for then senior starter Josiah Williams. Cooper, however, not the only rising junior with experience as defensive tackle Robert Edwards is expected to make a splash after recording 73 tackles in 2023. Yeah, it's special, um, especially be able to lead this team, have that title as a QB. It's definitely something to be proud of, and I'm excited to see what we do. You know, we've got a great group of guys. Um, we come in, we work, and heads down, and we're just going to grind. There's no doubt that the Hornets have some big gaps to fill after graduating not one but two Division I linemen from last year's squad. And although the group will have more young talent on the field than in previous years, the entire team believes that its chemistry is what will carry it to a historic District 11 title. That's going to be a tough one. We're going to be young up front. I think we've got one senior on the offensive line, which is um, unusual for us. I think we're usually really senior heavy. Uh, but we're, we're going to be young. Those guys that are young have experience. Um, two of those guys, uh, Weber and, and Brody McHugh. So, you know, that's a plus for us, but we're going to have to bring some of those younger guys along pretty quick. Yeah, we want to make history. That's the main goal. Like, that's at the top. That's at the pinnacle. We just want to be able to get Pat over the hump and just win a district championship. I think we're a family. Like, we all just love each other so much. Like, this is probably the most, like, family-oriented like, group I've ever been a part of. I mean, everything's going to be a fight. Um, there's not going to be any games where we're like, oh, we can sit back, relax. No, everything's going to be a fight. No matter what, we got to earn it. Knowing that we have the chance to make history, I, I would say that drives us. At Emmaus, I'm Sierra Jones for the Service Electric Network.